Hi, I'm Caleb. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add events to your calendar on Wix. So I'm going to assume that you've already added the events app to your website. If you haven't, you can go to apps on your Wix dashboard and then manage apps. Click get more apps and search for Wix events. It's this first one. There's other event calendars that you can use. Wix events was built by Wix, I think it's the easiest to use, but you're free to use any that you'd like. So back on our dashboard, we can go to events, and here we can fill out all the details for our event. So we can name the event Square Dance. There'll be a few words underneath the event, so you could say uh, hootin' hollerin' good time. Then you can add an image for your event, something related to the event. So I'm gonna add this image that we've, that I've already added of a couple square dancing. Okay, we can set the time here. Let's say it's on the 18th of September until 11. Time zone, I'm on central time. We can display it. So you can have physical and online events through Wix. So you can set it to physical, add an address like Green Hall. This is a dance hall close to where I live in Austin. You could also have an online event, online square dance, and add a link to a Zoom conference call. Um, you can set this up after you're done by connecting your Zoom account to Wix. So we'll do it on physical, Green Hall. And then in this, Space at the bottom, you can do more to describe your event. Great dancing, good dance. If we want people to buy tickets to our event, you can do so. You can have multiple different kinds of tickets, but we'll call ours just general admission. A normal ticket. Let's only sell, say, 100 tickets, add 15 each. For $15. There's a ticket fee that Wix charges to you, so be cognizant of that. Let's absorb the fee. And if you have a policy you can put in there, then we're not going to have a policy. Okay, save your ticket. On to registration. You can select where do people register. You can close the event, say if you don't want any more people to register for your event. You can keep it exclusive to members of your site if you have some kind of social networking or forum site. And then you can ask them some custom questions for registration. So we can get their phone number, ask them to add a comment, and then a custom question. What is your favorite style of dancing? Okay, we can even change the button text, finish, save your registration. You don't have to do these custom options. You can set the default emails. So I'd recommend just leaving all of these unless you have some kind of niche case where you wouldn't need to send confirmation emails and reminders. It's best though to keep those. If people are buying tickets, you can see their orders here. So who bought a ticket, which ticket did they buy, how much did they buy it for. And then finally, you can see your guest list here, everybody who signed up for the event. Now on their website, we can go to schedule, and we can see their upcoming events. Square Dance right here. We can see the image that we added, hover over it to see the information that we put in the address, the description, the date, and we can RSVP if we want. And so we can see the event we just created, square dance, location, image, time and location, about the event, tickets, we can grab a couple tickets, and here's a map. You can even share it on social networks. So it's pretty straightforward to set up an event. Just follow the, the options in the Wix Events app. You shouldn't have too much difficulty setting up your own events on Wix. Thanks, guys. See you next time.